Hey guys, Emperor here. Today we are looking at the Hunter skill tree. This is my revised version after spending some more time with the game. So let's get started. So we have incendiary, incendiary grenade. Uh, you know, basically blows up, sets people on fire. Oh, I forgot the, the description, sorry. Uh, an explosive grenade that catches enemies on fire, causing additional damage over time. Oh, there you go. Uh, unfortunately, I have not unlocked a swarm grenade. A grenade which detonates on impact, releasing multiple drones that sink nearby enemies. I have seen this in action in multiplayer. Uh, it does exactly what it says. Uh, it blows up and you see a bunch of little, I guess, mini robots floating in the air. And uh, if you get too close to them, they attack you and deal damage. And then we have Trip Mine Grenade, an explosive grenade that sticks to surfaces and detonates when enemies pass through its laser trigger. Okay, moving on to the jumping section. Uh, we have double jump. Jump a second time after leaving the ground. I have to tell you, of the three jumps, um, now that I've especially tried them pretty much back to back, uh, the hunter is, at least from the start, the most <laughs> disappointing. It's pretty bad. Let me show you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I almost got up there. One more time. Nope, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a little weak. That said. Uh, if we go down the tree a little bit, we have better control, upgrades double jump for better directional control while in the air. Uh, if you watch any of the other skill trees, basically the same thing. Uh, you have more directional control. You can adjust yourself midair instead of kind of being committed. Triple jump. Uh, <laughs> the hunter really needs this skill because the double jump sucks. So a, a triple jump would be a nice addition. Higher jump. Upgrades double jump for even greater height. So eventually it looks like that the hunter uh, does get a much better jump. Just uh, not nearly as soon as the other two classes. Okay, now we move on to our supercharge, which for the hunter is the golden gun. Summon a flaming pistol which disintegrates enemies with solar light. So let's go take a look at that. I have my supercharge ready. You get three shots. As you can see, it's fairly powerful. Um, from my experience in uh, the Crucible, which is the PvP, uh, it will usually one-shot somebody. So, you know, it didn't take down that Hive Knight in one shot, but it's a different story against players. So basically, you get three one-shot kills usually if uh, you don't miss. So continuing down that line, we have Deadeye. Significantly increase the accuracy of Golden Gun. Um, I mean, you know, at more accuracy is always better. I don't particularly feel like it's not accurate, though, so uh, not sure how much ben uh, benefit that would provide. Combustion. Killing enemies with the Golden Gun causes them to explode. This I can see being useful, uh, you know, especially... Uh, when you have enemies crowded around a, a capture point, you know, just shoot the one in the middle. <laughs> Watch the other ones uh, go boom. Gunfighter. Reduce the cooldown of Golden Gun, allowing it to be used more often. Uh, obviously, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Always nice to be able to one-shot people more often. So we go into our next, uh, next one here. This is the melee tree. So the hunter gets a special ranged attack on their cooldown. 
which I will demonstrate. So there you go, you throw a knife. Um, not especially powerful, although uh, it does a good damage on regular enemies and does decent damage in, uh, in PvP. Since I'm over here, I'll show you their standard melee attack. A nice uh, stab with a knife. As you can see, it did a fair amount of damage, so their melee attack is... Uh, you know, it's it's pretty beefy. Um, I'm not sure where it stands against the Warlock uh, because they both seem to do similar amount of damage. Doesn't have quite the range the Warlock uh, does. Uh, it's definitely, uh, as far as without upgrades, more powerful than the Titans. So I would say it puts it somewhere in the middle by my estimation between the, the other two classes. Let's see, uh, let's see what goes on down that tree though. So we have circle of life. Killing an enemy with throwing knife while the golden gun is active extends the duration of golden gun. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, incendiary blade, throwing knife catches enemies on fire, dealing additional damage over time. Uh, I definitely like that. Knife Juggler. Precision kills with throwing knife immediately resets its cooldown. So, uh, if you hit somebody in the face with it, you get to throw it again. <laughs> okay, now onto our stat boost, which every class gets. Path Forgotten. Training focused on toughness and speed. Path Forbidden. Training focused on battle recovery and speed. And if you look, as I switch between these two, you can see the stat bonuses reflected up there on the upper left and path unknown training focused on battle recovery and toughness now I'm going to skip this next line and go over to the one after it uh, because these are more stat bonuses so I, I like to keep them together way of the drifter training focused on all attributes way of the fearless training focused on toughness at all costs and Way of the Nomad, training focused on maximum battle recovery. Now, this is just pure speculation, but I'm assuming, uh, much like your grenade skills that you can switch between, uh, you're going to have to pick one of these three and one of these three. Uh, I do like this because that means not every hunter will be the same. Uh, you know, some can focus on uh, maybe being more agile or being more tanky, whatever whatever suits your play style. So I like that kind of customization. Okay, going back to that middle uh, tree we skipped. Scavenger, picking up ammo reduces the cooldown of your grenade and throwing knife. Uh, obviously that's always a good thing because <laughs> you're always collecting ammo. So at the same time you get to cool yourself down on your, your special abilities. Keyhole, golden gun over penetrates and can cause, can damage multiple targets. Uh, so basically, if you're able to line up a shot with more than one person in a line, uh, they will both get hit. Gunslinger's Trance. Precision kills increase weapon stability. Stacks up to three times. So I'm pretty sure precision kills uh, means headshots. So if you get lots of headshots, you'll get a buff to your weapon stability, which is always a good thing. And for our last line over here. We have Chain of Woe. Preci precision kills increase weapon reload speed. Stacks up to three times. So another another precision buff. This time on our speed. We have Over the Horizon. Increases the range of Golden Gun. Uh, I would assume it just uh, lets you hit targets from farther away. Pretty self-explanatory. And Gambler's Dagger. Gain an additional throwing knife. Well, you can't really go wrong there. I have had a, uh, I have had hunters who almost killed me, but then on their reload instead chose to finish me off with a throwing knife. So, uh, having an extra might be a nice little bonus for when you're in those kind of situations. Instead of trying to wait for the reload animation, just uh, finish them off with a knife. 
Well, that's going to do it for our hunter uh, skills analysis. I hope you guys found this helpful. I enjoyed making it for you, so please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Your support's always very much appreciated. And, uh, you know, your comments let me know what you guys like and don't like so I know what videos to make for you. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.